Well, today we have three more character toy robots. These appear to all be Billiken. And uh, I'm really not sure why I've got the mechanical number eight. He seems so human like a doll and not like a uh, robot. This was 1997. Made in Japan, it says. Uh, let's see if this key will fit. This is the key from the V3, but if it fits, we'll use it. Yeah. So, he's a walker, moving arm, extremely uh, high quality build, and everything seems to be metal with the exception of the, uh, the head. I don't know if there's anything on the box that we want to look at, but just in case there is, Okay, now well, well, we've got some sort of Aztec uh, looking thing here. Again, it's very crazy. All in Japanese, so I can't read it to you. And again, you're talking the mid 1990s. We'll check the, the robot itself. Well, he's got the plastic head and he's got some sort of plastic jet packs on the back. And very dark blue print may not show up on camera because there's not much lighting back here. Here, I'll turn this light on again. There we go. It says 1995. And let's save our battery. Only gave it two, two winds of the key. I didn't want it to run very long. Really nice little job. See all the little lines up everywhere. Very interesting. I'm not sure what the message is there. Um, the V3 down here. V3 kind of reminds me of some sort of a Looney Tunes type robot or something. But... Uh, Large plastic chest shield and headpiece, and uh, it says 1995 down in between the legs as well. Billiken, let's take a peek at the box. Of course, it's made in Japan. Again, I didn't want to wind it up too much. Pretty good runtime for uh, two and a half turns of the old uh, winder. Extremely, again, the build quality is just super high. The finishes are great. Most of the litho lines up really well. They got off just a little bit here and here. But it's a really complicated process to get uh, the litho to line up because the litho is put on the metal before it's shaped. It's put on first and then the metal is stamped. So it's an interesting process in how they do that.